build a cool AI-powered non-player character, NPC, that can interact with players <laughs> in real time. So, what's the big idea? Imagine you're playing an open-world game like Skyrim or GTA, and instead of the usual repetitive dialogue from NPCs, they respond intelligently based on your actions or questions. Today, we'll create a basic version of this using Python, the powerful capabilities of GPT-40 Mini, a large language model, natural language processing, NLP, and a bit of game development. This is going to be fun and educational. Let's start by setting up our environment. We'll be using Python, so make sure you have Python installed on your machine. If you don't have Python installed already, head over to python.org and download the latest version. Next, create a virtual environment. We'll be using a few libraries. Pygame for creating a basic game environment and OpenAI to access the OpenAI for text generation. Run this command in your terminal to install all the required libraries. If you don't have pip set up, make sure to install it first. We'll be using GPT-40 Mini, a model hosted on GitHub. To access it, you'll need a GitHub personal access token. Go to your GitHub settings, navigate to developer settings and security, and generate a new token. With the environment set up, let's start coding. To save time, rather than writing code, I will just walk you through the code. You can follow along if you want. So, I have added this app.py file which contains the whole code and these two images to use as game characters. Let's break down the code step by step. We will start by importing the necessary libraries. Next, set up a basic game environment. We'll use Pygame for the game window and visuals. Initialize it with Pygame. Dot init. Define the screen size and caption. I have set the size to 800 by 600 and set the title to AI powered NPC chat. Set colors for the background, chat box, text, and define fonts. Load images for your player and NPC. Make sure you replace player.jpg and npc.png with the actual file names of your images. Create variables to store chat history and define the input box. I set the different border colors for the active and inactive states of the input box. To make it realistic, we will show the game characters at the top of the screen. One for the user and one for the non-playing character. In this function, we are rescaling the image to a specific size. We also need to create a simple text input for the player to type questions or commands to the NPC, and our AI will respond accordingly. We will add it to the bottom of the screen. To show the conversation, we have to define a chat history. In this function, we are displaying the last five chat messages from a chat history. So, we set up a basic Pygame window. We're keeping it simple for now, but you can expand on this later with custom sprites, animations, and more. Now for the exciting part, giving our NPC some intelligence. This function uses the GPT-4 Omini model to generate a response based on the player's input. It will generate the NPC's response in real time. I am using the model hosted on GitHub. You can find the link of the GitHub models in the description, or you can just search GitHub models in your browser. In this function, we are getting GitHub token from the environment. For this, we need to create an environment variable to set our token as the key for the client code. You can see the command in the terminal to set the token. I don't want to reveal my token. I've already done this. You can replace the GitHub token in this command if you're following along. Once you are ready with the token, create OpenAI client and set the API call to get the chat response. Finally, we return the message content from the response. Now, it is time to create the main game loop. This while loop creates an infinite loop that keeps the game running until the user quits. First, we fill the entire screen with the specified background color. Call the function to draw the player, NPC characters, and to draw the chat history on the screen. Then in this for loop, we are handling events. It iterates through all events that have occurred since the last frame. First, we check if the user has clicked the close button. If so, the game is exited. Then we check if the mouse button has been pressed. If the click is within the input box, the active variable is toggled to indicate that the input box is active or inactive. The color variable is also updated accordingly. In the third condition, we check if a key has been pressed, if the input box is active. If the enter key is pressed and there is text in the input box, the current text is added to the chat history as a user message. The get NPC response function is called to get the NPC's response, which is then added to the chat history as a system message. 
then the input box text is cleared. If the backspace key is pressed, the last character in the input box text is deleted. Else any other key is pressed, the character is added to the input box text. Finally, we update the display. Call the function to draw the input box on the screen. This flip function updates the display to show the changes made in the current frame. And this last line limits the frame rate to 30 frames per second, ensuring smooth gameplay and preventing excessive CPU. Let's test it out. When I type a question like, what do you know about this place? The NPC generates a response on the fly. You can see how this adds depth and dynamism to the game experience. Of course, the responses are generated on the spot and can vary each time you ask. This makes the NPC feel more alive and less predictable. Interact with the NPC you have created and share the responses you get from NPC in the comments below. Consider adding more features like multiple NPCs, different responses based on context, saving chat history to a file. And that's it. You've just created an AI-powered NPC for your game. This is just the beginning. This is a great starting point for creating more advanced AI behaviors in games. Imagine adding more complexity, like sentiment analysis, context-aware dialogue, or even integrating this with other game mechanics like quests or combat. You can experiment with different models, customize the NPC's personality, and explore more advanced AI techniques to enhance your game's interactions. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to like and share this video if you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more AI and game development content. Also, drop a comment below if you have any ideas for future videos or if you want me to dive deeper into this topic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.